Hello, this is Savage Jim, and this is my new review of set number 6005 from the LEGO City series, The Fireboat. The set is from the 2013 series, and it is new as of the making of this video, it being uh, January of 2013. And uh, I have to say that for the price of $30 retail, um, it's a pretty good set. Uh, the uh, boats over here, as you see, uh, they actually float and you can put them in water. Uh, the only objection I have to that is the stickers may get ruined. The only drawback I would have against this set is the price per piece count and at $30 uh, MSRP uh, you only get 222 pieces so that puts you pretty much well above the 10 cent a piece benchmark. The set is put together with uh, two instruction books. Here they are right here. One for each boat. Uh, I, I didn't time myself on putting this together, but I'm thinking it took me maybe about 30 minutes to do. This is the boat for the racing dinghy. And it is 27 pages. And for the fireman's motorboat, it is a 51 page build. Uh, of course the uh, fireman's powerboat being the bigger piece uh, it took me a little bit longer to do. Uh, the dinghy, I'm probably saying it took me about 10 maybe 15 minutes tops and uh, the fireman's boat maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Well, let's go over the characters now. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, dinghy racers. This is what he looks like fully dressed front and back. He has Octan printed on the back of his chest piece here and uh, we've seen that Octan before uh, particularly the fuel truck also from the LEGO series uh, LEGO series I believe also from the uh, I was trying to say the 2013 series uh, that's what his face printing looks like that's a pretty good character to him nice job on that from LEGOs he has a life vest, but there is front printing on his chest piece as well. And that's what that looks like right there. Let me get a good focus. This is his helmet. And these do have visors. His buddy is exactly the same, exact same uh, front and back printing uniform, exact same helmet, except he's a little bit more cooler and a little bit more happy about it too apparently. He gets to drive the boat so that's why he's smiling. He has a, he has a set of shades on his facial printing there. Nice job also by Legos. And uh, if you look really closely at his shades, you'll see there's some highlighting to represent some of the light glare reflecting off his shades. So, good job, Legos. I like that. And for the fireman, this is your typical standard fare Lego City's fireman. He does have front and back printing and oh look at that I put his life vest on backwards but there's his back printing front printing and he does have leg printings to accent his firefighter's uniform and oh look at that face he's pretty ticked off working hard at it too and standard fair firefighter's helmet. I really like these firefighter's helmets from the LEGO City series. And for the firefighter's power boat dri driver, he has a ball cap, not a firefighter he helmet, and he does have these shades. I guess that's to 
keep the water spray from getting into his eyes while he's driving the boat. He does have back printing, different back printing from the uh, guy operating the water cannon. And his front printing is also a little bit different too. But he does have the firefighter's leg printing. Now for the centerpieces of this set, the power boats. Let's go ahead and start with the dinghy over here as you can see. Now the dinghy, the boat piece itself is a single piece with all the other pieces mounted onto it. And down at the bottom you have these uh, little smooth pieces so whether you're playing on water or you're playing on a tabletop you can move it along smoothly. And I haven't put it to the test yet, but they say this floats. There are a lot of stickers on this, so as I expressed earlier, I'm not too I'm not too particularly happy about sticking this in the water if it's gonna affect these stickers. You know, I don't want these to get ruined. So you did I did have a lot of problems putting these stickers on because they're just a pain in the neck to do. This one over here on the on the tail fin, the tail wing over here. That took me quite about six tries to get it on straight and even more tries to put these side stickers on. It just a pain in the neck to do. This one I was actually lucky I got it on to my satisfaction in just one try but that doesn't mean a thing. Of course you got the right hand side steering and on this side I believe that's your um, hit the uh, co-pilot's controls for fuel regulation or whatever and uh, for here you do have an accessory it's a fire extinguisher and now for the engine I, I like that look at that I'm just gonna take that off the boat temporarily here I like what Legos did here. They made a V6. And it's supercharged. It has a little pulley here and, uh, and a massive intake on top of the manifold right here. Really nice job. You got these flames over here. This is to simulate a fire going off, I guess. Or if you're doing stop motion vids, you know, you could uh, put these into alternating exhaust ports you know to simulate a V6 firing order one three six four five whatever you know you know what I'm saying and depending on how fast your frames per second are you know you can make it look like it's uh, you know blown out a lot of flame exhausts I'll try to do a rough video doing just that I'll upload that separately from this review vid and now for the fireman's power boat. Let's give that a quick look over here. The hole down here at the bottom is a single piece hole. And it is a softer plastic. It's not your standard Lego hard plastic formula. I believe it's uh, for the durability of actually putting it in water. Uh, unfortunately, uh, again, uh, there are stickers. And uh, the stickers, I believe, would fall below the water line when, it, when this is actually floating in a tub or wherever you're going to put this and uh, I do have uh, you know concerns that the stickers may get ruined of course in the hole you have here this sticker fire 60005 which is the set number and you have the same stick on the other side of the hole up here on the rear wing you have this uh, sticker with this symbol of the firefighters both sides and you have two engines they also have stickers 350 horsepower on these outrigger engines for a total of 700 horsepower. Pretty cool. Uh, over here on the driver's cockpit you can see that there are control gauges. Uh, those unfortunately aren't printed. They're stickers. Going over some of the accessories and the playability of, the, of this boat. Uh, we have here a radio which is just put on that little clip and of course you could dismount this little... let me pull that out. What would good firemen be without a handheld fire extinguisher? I 
I like this circle that they put up here on the rear wing, uh, which represents a a nautical radar dish, and you do have these uh, long antennae. Uh, the set actually includes a third antenna, so in case you break one of these, I guess you could just uh, simply uh, replace the broken one with the spare one. And the two outrigger engines, uh, they do tilt up and down, just like that. And uh, you do have these uh, cogs to represent propellers. Very nice. Up here in the bow, you do have this lifesavers float. So to fight whoever is operating the water cannon, you can toss that into whoever is drowning in the water. And uh, of course the water cannon itself, it's on this rotating plate here. And it's held together with these uh, these bow droid arms and so this rotate and that gives you a left and right traversability as well as, well as some elevation and depression of the water cannon and it's also you know has a lot of versatility you can make it reach out or retract in pretty nice and the handle also goes up and down oops tore it off what the heck and you've got this little um, opaque piece here to represent water coming out of the cannon. Well, this sums up my review of the LEGO City set number 60005, the fireboat. And I hope you did enjoy my review. Thank you and good night.